Welcome back to the stream. I did fix the audio quality, hopefully. So I'm hoping that's gonna work a lot better for this stream. Um, yeah, trying to fix small things here and there. I don't know if anyone is gonna notice, but we'll see. We'll see if it. Uh, I notice when it plays back. Anyways, happy Friday, guys. We are, are, you, are we crooked? Are you crooked? You're crooked. You're crooked. Oh no, you're too high. Nope. You were you had you were good in the space the other day, and just now you're not. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, happy Friday! It is getting colder here out in Seattle, so um, I'm bundled up today because it's cold in here. Uh, but it's Friday. We are going to play with ChatGPT a little bit today and draw some random stuff that it creates for us. So we can kind of get started with that. We can talk about what we did last time. I don't even know. I feel like we did, oh, I did, I know what I did. I tried to do a hot sauce making episode, but not everything was included. It involved cooking and blending, which I don't have access to inside the studio so we can play with. Um, so we couldn't do that. So today we can, Hmm. Maybe I should brew a cup of tea and we can do some weird um, uh, spotting with that or uh, and do some ink drilling with that and create something with a combination of chat GPT, an accident, and just some fun. So we'll see how that, all that works out. I don't know. I do have enough water down here to boil some tea so I can do that. Um, and then we can move forward with that. But let's check out what we did last time. Oh, go down to the studio. Um, see, that's why the this was bent a little bit because we're too far out. So we're gonna drop back into the studio. Actually, I'm gonna boil some tea right now so we can get started on that. This is what I drew last time. And so because I couldn't make the hot sauce, I drew the hot sauce challenge kit. Again, I did it the wrong way because I don't know my height and width. If I was painting murals and designing things, this would be a terrible problem. Good thing I'm just drawing things for fun. So let me brew some tea. I meant to take care of all this stuff earlier, but I've been busy running around today. Sorry if it's making everyone have to go pee. I have no choice. I'm going to boil water. I need to put it into the kettle. I also need to pick out some teas, which could be fun because we're actually trying to. Maybe I'll try to pick out some teas that'll make some darker colors. Now, here's my box of teas. I got this box from an old shop that I used to work at. It used to just be a tea box. It used to just be an old tea Because I used to have time to do the nails and drink a cup of tea every once in a while. This is my favorite, but it's not going to come out with any color. We're not going to get any. It's going to be just yellow. Sleepy time, Lipton tea. I need something that's going to create some color. All in one tea ice. Thai iced tea. This is light caffeine. Oh dear. Chamomile lavender herbal tea. 
Uh, is this black tea? Vanilla chai, black tea. Man, this stuff would keep me up all night, though. Mm. Like, all this caffeine, like, flower tea is not going to help us with color. Maybe we should steep a couple different teas and see if we can get some different colors. Okay, so I want to drink... I'm going to drink some bedtime tea. That's my plan. I should just paint my nails tonight and be like, there's a half hour of your life. Because you cannot touch anything, you cannot type, you cannot do anything. And I just don't know how people can sit still for so long. I have a hard time getting a haircut. That's why I only let my mom cut half of my hair. And I don't even care if she does a good job most of the time. All right. I need some teacups now, which is another anomaly. So quick little tea brewing situation and then we're going to see if we can get some staining on some paper, right? That's like kind of the plan. And then we're going to play with that, jump into chat GPT, have it describe something to us and see if we can fix the problem. So basically doing cover ups all day long. Now I want to drink some of the chamomile tea and I tried to put it in containers that we could see the bottom. My favorite cup to literally drink out of is this one. And I think these will be fine for color, so, cause there's like green in this one. So we're gonna do sipping tea. Go me. People will be like, no, the water's too hot. I know, I know, the water's too hot. I get it. And I should do it correctly. I really should. But the other point of this, the other two things of these is I'm really trying to make it concentrated. A little bit of tea. Oh my goodness. I'm probably going to smoke out my camera. And if anyone didn't have to pee before this, they will now. Okay, good. Perfect. It's going to smell very interesting in this place. Okay, so the black tea, I'm hoping we're going to get like the best color with so we can drop the black tea in there I should have made more tea but I can't drink three cups of tea before bed alright well oh sweet oh don't you just hate when you do that? Like, oh, now I get to put my hand into the boiling hot water. Luckily, the little part of the string is still hanging out. Whew. I didn't have to do that. Oh, man. Dangerous. This show should come with a warning. Okay. So, black tea here. I'll let that get black. And we have just a little bit, like I barely filled these cups up because I'm really trying to get a concentrated color. Can you paint with no paint? And then I think I'm gonna drink this tea if that can be a possibility. But instead of watching this, all this magic happen, like we should, and I'm doing this because I need to use some tea at some point in my life. I haven't been drinking tea lately. I might need to get back in the habit of it. Okay.
at a couple different um, textures of paper and you know what I'm gonna actually do yes that's what we're gonna do hold on I got a plan it's not gonna be a good one but it will be a plan so I got a couple different grades of paper this one is an 80 pound cardstock this is regular uh, 110 110 pound cardstock and these things are going to act real differently when they get around water. Um, this microfiber towel is not what I want to use. But they're going to act a lot differently when they get around water. As in, I don't know how long it may take me to draw. But I'll draw around things. Okay, I'm going to move the teapot off. Just going to... On. Oh man, I didn't even think this through because I don't have a paintbrush ready. Oh well, it's Friday. We're just hanging out trying to get a few things done. And of course my desk gets just close enough that I can't. Oh, there we go. Um, paintbrushes, third tray to the bottom, first tray to the top. It's markers. That one will be okay. Maybe I don't need a paintbrush. Maybe I should just paint with half a straw. We'll see. I only got two and just two that I could really grab in the dark, which these are probably like your Run of the line Walmart brand paintbrushes. Oh, my hair's a mess. It's uh, like I've been crawling under cars all day, which which I actually have been crawling under cars all day. My hands aren't destroyed, which is nice. Okay, so we got our teas brewing. Wow, it's getting real dark. I need to take this one out already. And so. We're going to just test, I actually want to test out the other paper too, which I think is different. This is the, let me write this down real quick for us so we know. It never goes back in its spot. It's 120 pound. Sorry guys if that was loud. I didn't mean to. I ran into my desk. It wasn't my fault. And this one is the... So this one's 120 pound. I wrote it on the bottom corner. This is the 80 pound. Just Amazon paper. And I do have a recycled paper like regular printer paper. And we can possibly test on that. I mean give it a shot while we're here. So I guess this would be like um, the one that you're, you would have at home. So if you had something that came out of your printer, this is what it would be. So this is a good example of three different tests. And maybe I'll just cut them smaller. Should we roll the dice so I have three smaller pieces? Well, let's roll the dice real quick. That way I don't have so much to draw today. Okay, so seven, high, bye. Seven by six. Okay, let's get the paper cutter out real quick. Teas are teas are over steeping. My um my tea is way overdone for at least my liking. But it'll have a lot of flavor. So we need five by six by seven. Seven by six. So six. Cut off the six. Of this one. Oh no, there's the 80 pound drawing. I should really use that side, right? And then we should only have to cut off like an inch and a half of this one. Of course, again, I try to cut off the side I need. 
And that way this, uh, I don't have to go so widescreen on this one. Okay, so remember, it's this way. Okay, 120 pound paper, also the same thing. This is a lot thicker to cut. So we're gonna cut the six way first. All right. Ooh. It's even harder to push there. Then we're gonna cut the seven way. And then we're going to put that over here. The last one is the regular sheet of at home paper. to cut off the six again. Oh my goodness. What happened? It didn't even let me cut it that way. Too fast. I'll try it much slower this time. Oh my goodness, I can't even cut this. I've never had a problem cutting a piece of paper. Should we try again or should I do this by hand? Like I don't I don't know what to do. I'll just cut it really slowly. Yeah, okay. Don't push down too hard on it. Six by seven. I cut that one the wrong way, but I was more worried about trying to get it to cut. And basically, I got to put it in the middle and cut outwards. Even that's a little bit iffy. The cut wasn't that good. Okay. Scrap paper for a recycled project one day because I have many of them. Right. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Here's the plan. It's a lot of setup. Okay. I need a little bit of Oh, printer paper, very, very. Very, very um, water soluble. I might have put too much. Too much um, tea on it, but that's OK. So that's like direct tea. Oh, this is hot. I should have got a plate. somewhat prepared okay okay I almost like that is a is a background color okay that's coming out nice and red it's hot I mean I guess at some point you can paint with like apple juice or like grape juice well wow, that's Risky. I might have to like dry underneath this one just to. So this might not work with your like normal at home printer papers. Just so we're we're aware of that. Um, okay. Let's just taste our tea. Hmm. That is good tea. I don't know why I really like that tea. It's not cheap though. I mean, it's not super expensive. And it is like generic. Oh. 
All right. <clears throat> hey, Kylie. I'm hoping the audio is better tonight. I've been working on it. I'm sitting here making tea because that's what I feel like doing tonight. It's an hour of me making tea. This tea is fantastic, though. I don't even know I put the packaging for that tea. I don't think it's going to... That's the tea that I'm drinking at the moment. Oh, you can't see it. Your fault, Lipton, for making it so shiny and, like, plastic looking. Oh, yeah, I know. I fixed the audio. I fixed the audio, and then today I felt like the need that I don't want to stream live anymore. But, you know, that could be a, that could be a thing. <laughs> All right, so we're playing with T. We're going to try to see if we can get, let's see what this black chai tea tastes like. It's probably so strong. Hmm, it's good, but it's strong. It's getting cold too. So let's see if like straight from the tea bag, if we're gonna get better color. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna get a better color. I wonder if I can like just put some mountains in just to try to like add to our scene. I don't know what scene it's going to be though. It, like this could really mess me up, but I'm just going to plan for the worst. Okay, and then we're going to we're going to do the same kind of crazy. We don't really care. Oh man. Don't blot too much. Now we actually have tea. We actually oh dear. Houston, Houston, we have a problem. And of course we come to our friend the printer paper last. I have a bit of coffee grounds. I'm not gonna have, I should have drawn the borders first. <laughs> next time, I don't know if there'll be a next time of this episode. This might be a one and only, a one and done. Wow, that's still hot. Tea is like always way too hot or just like freezing cold. Just can never get in the middle. That yellow is just not, oh, okay. We're going to, nope, that's what we need. Let it do this, cause that's the part of the experiment. But what I should do, oh, what I should do is I should put a towel underneath it so that if it does bleed through, like the towel try to absorb some of the water where here the paper is absorbing a lot of the water, but let me tell you, not well. Um, okay, and then we're gonna take our pomegranate. I've already squeezed. We're just gonna see if we can get some concentrated color. some shapes maybe doesn't really look that red it's also giving me a very brown color but you know like I said this is just tea I have laying around kind of odd I, mean, I guess like would you just boil down tea even more to get kind of a different color like where did was the green from the brown where'd the green come from I think I should just paint using drips but I don't know like the reds just not that red I could paint with much more vibrant colors give it a little bit of flare there's just nothing going on they're just like 
boring kind of spots. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm like work, working way too low. I moved myself down. You know what? I could just zoom us out a little bit. I know, we're a little bit messy here, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. Yeah, I don't think T has enough color either. It's very colorless. Hmm. Hmm, what can we do? Because these, although, well, hmm. I could play with something with more color. I don't know. Let's see if we paintbrush it, like if I was going to paintbrush some of this. Like this tea is very light in color anyways. So I don't think you're going to get any tint from it. It's mainly water. But I mean, cool to for like dyeing tags. You could definitely use this uh, uh, black tea and use this. This actually has a decent amount of color, at least in the tea bag. Like, just thinking. Or like landscape. Wow, you know what? No matter what, this tea smells amazing. Like the chai tea with the vanilla. It smells delicious. Um, but what I think we could try to do, but let's not do that. Let's just be patient. Let this dry for a second. Um, and while we're waiting for this to dry, we can look up some, I don't know, what should we do, scenes? What should I have to draw from these? Ooh, it's bitter, but good. Um, needed to wash it down, it was way too strong. Um, so what should we do? And we could either try autumn leaves patterns. You could do flower patterns or stationary paper. Um, okay, we can try to do some flowers. My problem is, is I'm gonna rush it and I need to um, I need to wait for the uh, for the tea to dry. I have a blow dryer. That is a good trick um, when you're doing art. Sometimes, sometimes it's not the best idea. I I don't want to pull up any of the ink. I want it to kind of dry as it lays. So kind of stuck here but we can do flowers let's do flowers in in our scenery and that's a good suggestion stationary I don't know stationary re requires patterns I was just gonna draw weird things around the shapes all right let's see let's just jump into chat GPT because we said we were gonna do that and um, Right, that's part of the part of the game. Hold on, hold on. Should be the same as it always is. I don't understand why it does this to me every time. Just one little thing. 
should we do have it help us design a monster or should we have it give us three random words and add flowers to it I feel like there's so much room for like at least in this one with like the patterns like I could already see like maybe a crazy little duck here or like Bride of Frankenstein maybe I should pick one and then just have it generate me a bunch of different words and I'll just go through the list we've done that before maybe or maybe just do something this simple please generate three um, give me three words that oh consisting of a person oh no an animal <laughs> Ugh. place and thing Ugh, this might be backfire these are weird Elephant Reap, but that didn't. Give me three three words consisting of animal place and thing. Hmm. I need a better better prompt. What should the prompt be? Um what should the prompt be? something else that I had done before not unlikely word combinations but oh they, this is what it is all right sorry let me just jump you guys back into the desktop I forgot that you weren't there but I need to fix it for you so it's not messed up All right, so the last time I did it, I said generate 15 random people, places, or things. And it did that for me. So let's do this dries, which is what I would really like it to do. Um, or maybe I should just um, ink, ink with... Um, because I won't be able to ink on this in time. It's so wet still. Okay, I'm gonna ran I'm gonna generate ten random. And we're just gonna do ten. And we're gonna give ourselves a list. Fifteen, we already did the fifteen. So this list consists of tornado. Ugh, I hate doing tornado. Acoustic guitar, librarian, desert oasis, trampoline, firefighter, Zen garden, ice cream truck, roller coaster, bioluminescent jellyfish. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. 
be fun to draw. I think we might, because our, um, our T is taking forever while we wait, let's just uh, play around in the studio. And let's just do this challenge because the T was kind of an afterthought. I was like, you know what I should do? I should do a test on different types of T. I'm going to start doing more test videos on different types of paint because I have tons of different types of paint that I need to use. Because I tell like everyone I know the way to becoming a great artist is talk about the art that you don't paint. I buy so many art supplies and talk about art supplies but I don't actually use them because I'm like oh I'm gonna save them for a special project and I'm gonna be I'm never gonna use them. It's like so hard to use art supplies because they're so expensive. And when they get expensive, you think they have value. But we could talk about art like that too. All right, so let's just do um, a real quick drawing. And we're going to do this all in pen, so I kind of have to get it right the first time. Should we just do it on this, or should I stick to my 6 by 7 size? Oh, I'm going to end up with too many drawings to do. All right, so that's a T test. We're going to just leave that to its own demise while it dries over here in the no room that I have on my desk now. I have three different cups. I'm, I live the most wild Friday nights these days. Oh. Tell you stories about Friday nights. Um, okay, so this is the 120. That's why it's super. Oh, that was probably so loud. Sorry, I apologize. Um, but it's super, super stiff. Use this to make like greeting cards. Uh, that's what I've been using it to make. And I've made some pretty cool greeting cards actually, which I will show you um, eventually. But yeah, we've been making so many different things lately. I'm just trying to learn to make different things. I feel like I learned to make something and then I have to like immediately transition to learn to do something else. But I don't know. If you're gonna be here, you may as well learn something while you're here. So. All right, we're gonna just power through this and we're gonna get it done. And that's the plan. And if it's good, it's good, it's the best. Probably not. Is that okay? Yeah, that's totally okay. Jump into a split screen real quick. Oh man. If I move it over, then we lose that. I guess I could bring it in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Right? Nope, that's not okay. It's good enough. Just sit right there. Um, so there's the word list. And we're going to start from the top so we don't cheat. So tornado is first. Okay. Tornado can't be first. Acoustic guitar can go in there. Where is the acoustic guitar going to go? Zen garden. Definitely. Um, I should draw on the other side. This whole screen should be flipped so that I'm not drawing in the, in the wrong side. Should it always be that way? I don't know, maybe. I don't think I can flip this, the script while we're here, but maybe I can. Let's see if it can do it. Split screen, capture window. Okay. The capture window is over here, right? And then I put I don't know. No, 
Oh, there it is. Sorry. Doing a little bit of stream maintenance. But maybe just for better viewing. Is that better? That might be better. Sorry. But then that doesn't matter how big. That, that probably works. Cool. All right. That looks better. Oh, I'm missing the chat. Sorry. Those colors might work uh, for that. And you can use the tea bags and dab shapes. Do you have to do them all? Can you just do Desert Oasis using tea bags? I could use Desert Oasis, but I'm trying to fill some time because I'm waiting for them to dry. If I write on this now, it's just going to tear the paper. Like, I can already see because it's uh, such a high cardstock, it soaks up a lot of pi uh, pigment, just like cardboard. Like if you've ever tried to paint on cardboard, it just soaks up that that paint, some worse than others. Like, cause I tried to do stencil stand-ups on old recycled cardboard just for fun and uh, it didn't work. Um, but we might get some cool patterns and maybe I'll just draw some fun things out of these, like just what I see because you can uh, if I was to draw something like right now like this would be a good time to use the iPad if I was gonna put the iPad in because um, I could take a photo and then just draw this but if I was to draw this right now I could already see like maybe um, a guy right here with his head and then um, a shoulder with an arm maybe two little legs and then some some feet and he's probably like looking at uh, maybe some toxic trash and then there's a giant fly right here and he's saying something to him and there might be another fly or ghost out here. This guy might even have X'd out eyes but he's wearing like a little like um, like cap with some big buck tooth teeth you know. But if you had it this way you know you'd see something completely different maybe two mountains and like a tree, a weird tree that's coming off this mountain. And then you have like a weird spaceship maybe in the middle, like crashing. You got the smoke coming down, it's smoking. And then there's another spaceship that's crashing, smoking down. You know, it's kind of all up to your imagination of like what you want to see in it. You keep turning it, right? Let's what else? What other angle haven't we done it in? So you know, kind of cool. What about this one? If it was this way. You would paint, I like the inverse, so like maybe do all this silhouette. And it's like um, forest trees in the background, and then there'd be a mountain, maybe with a cave in the front. You could probably do Bigfoot right here. And then you draw down, you got like a river trailing here in the negative space. You got like a river trailing here, maybe a toad sitting on, like a bullfrog sitting on a rock right here. You know, turn it again. You turn it again, and then what else could you see? What does that look like? This one he doesn't work. No, they all work. But it's it's helpful if you if you have some kind of idea. And I think I'll end up drawing something fun on these, but I just don't know why. Maybe I'll turn it a couple times and draw from a couple different angles. I'm really, I used to do that a lot, even in my paintings, my personal paintings that I have at home. Um, I actually turn the canvas like once or twice a week and we'll draw something new at a different angle because I like how it looks when 
you can turn a piece and it like looks different when you come back you're like oh that's not the same thing and it, it is but it's you know it's changed slightly so I drew my piece what two days ago I wrote uh, make every 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 day count is the plan make every day count so try to do something and learn something every day anyways we are going to um, have to draw a border because that's our first step and I don't know why the, the camera is pointed so high up these days let's go for it oh the black is looking nice today don't say that you'll jinx yourself Oop, I'm gonna hit my arm on this you can't see the teacup that's in my way like everything Ooh, I'm extra tired this week it's been a long week and I did a lot of work on my car this week so I've been pulling muscles and all of this oh come on Oh, I just bought this set too. Like, but, well, I did Inktober, so that definitely killed all my markers. But that was in terrible form. And this one's terrible as well. Micron, are you going to save me here? I don't love how the microns work on this paper. But. And I don't think the micron's gonna save me here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And I try to get better at this, I just can't do it. With your arm, maybe one day I'll learn the skill. You would think like 30 days of doing it in a row. I mean, I drew it like three or four times, and still they look terrible. That's okay. We got a lot to put into this picture, and I got to figure out how we're gonna do that. Okay, so we need a tornado, we need a librarian, we need a firefighter. I'm going to draw the librarian and the firefighter together. The librarian is going to be over the firefighter's shoulder on a ladder somewhere in this area. That's the plan, which is all going to be very difficult because that's a lot to draw. But the Zen Garden needs to be over the path, so there's going to have to be a horizon line about here. And then we want the library steps to maybe come out to quick sketch, just a quick sketch, just to get everything laid out. Um, sorry. And what time is it? Oh, we still got plenty of time. And we might do an early stream tonight, just depending on how much we get done. Because I drank that sleepy time tea and it hits hard. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so there's that, right? And my plan is to draw um, a ladder, maybe to a second story building window because the library has two stories because it's a fancy library. And we're gonna draw the front of the library building there, maybe? That's not right. That's not right. We can't draw the whole building to the edge of the horizon. That wouldn't happen. I mean, we could. We should? Should we? Is that right? I'm going to have to turn the angle of the ladder. I'm going to have to do that anyways. Man, a library catching on fire? That's, that's not going to be a good call. So if... Okay. Okay, so let's put a, put a vanishing point somewhere around here, right? So we can draw this library. This 
sitting right here, but it's not quite right here. What I want to do is I want to put an awning. This building gonna, is going to come out, I think, to the end because it needs to. Which means this firefighter's ladder needs to be slightly off. Right? And we have a library pretty much with the awning, maybe with like this is this part, and then we need some stairs right here, is really what needs to happen. Like so, because it hits the side of the building where you can sit. Because there's always a place for homeless people to sit near libraries. I mean, if you're homeless, come on, let's go read. Unless you can't see, then you can't go read. Then you should go outside. But you're homeless, so you're inside all the time. It's a very confusing world we live in. I wish I could make sense of it. Confusing world. You don't make any sense. Let's erase this line. Let's, um, nope. That wasn't it. Something like that for the ladder, right? Maybe a little bit more of this. And we can draw the tornado. We'll draw the tornado happening out here. Right? Good. And then there should be a, a window, a ledge, right? Oh, but you would, would it, it would go towards the vanishing point, right? I was, or am I completely wrong with that? This would be a brick. I could draw all that in later. I don't really need to do that now. I might just need to get what this. So there's like probably flames bursting out of here. And there's probably another window down here. Man, a library on fire. Still not, not a good look. But I'm sure a lot of libraries have been burned, come on, throughout time, like knowledge. People want to keep people, I mean, there's always been that person trying to trick somebody or lie to them. Like, Not everyone's honest as much as we'd like to, in our hearts, to believe that that's true. It's just not. Oh man, I really messed up the angle on this one. Is it hard to see? I'm so sorry. Okay, we're going to get out of pencil pencil mode, but I'm just trying to get some angles right. And some people's body shapes right before I go. Before I go, um, <laughs> sorry, I just kind of fun. Sometimes when you're drawing things, you get this funny idea because you're really kind of telling a story in your head. And so I got this funny idea for this this pose because it's there's a lot going on. And um, I don't know how our legs are supposed to be. Like, would they? They'd be like. There's a leg here, right? Because their body goes over, or his body. I don't know. Librarians. Oh man, did I get some water on that? Uh oh. Would her legs be up? They, yeah, they'd have to be up if he was carrying her down. 
he has like big baggy pants and one one leg is here on a rung and the other leg is probably down here on a rung and then he's probably got a hand over here okay good perfect then need to break off Zen Garden Right? We need the Zen Garden, which has like a little bit of a pitch. I don't even know why I drew that line that way. Would it go the other way? It wouldn't go that way, would it? Maybe. See, I don't even know what things look like. My brain doesn't tell me that if that was my vanishing point. Okay, tornado. What else do I got in here? Trampoline. Let's drop the trampoline right here. Oh man, I could do it. Do him throwing her. I could have done a different thing, but that's okay. We're gonna stick to stick to what we know. Because I could have done a bunch of firefighters around. Nope, I'm going to do that still. I'm still going to do that. <coughs> All the body movements will be difficult to do. This guy's leaning back. He's running back. Right. How does one run backwards? I guess it looks the same as forwards a little bit. Just more push off backwards. Okay. And then we should have one guy being pulled or pushing. He's kind of pushing. Give him an arm there. Give him a shoulder. Give him legs. He's running, so he's got one leg up and one leg forward. I'm going to get out a pencil right now. I'm so sorry. Okay, they're running. They got a trampoline. They only need three of them because we're only going to give them three. Because there's like three legs on a trampoline. I'm just going to give it some terrible looking legs. Okay, there's some trampoline action going on. They're running through the Zen Garden, which was like a little tree. I don't know what a Zen Garden actually looks like. Probably got some kind of fancy looking tree with like some cherry blossoms or something. Or just some flowers. I don't know. I feel it's like all about the rock design. Like the the raked. But these guys are like running through it. So it would be all messed up. It would be perfectly raked. And then don't they go like around things with that rake? I can't do it because it's actually like an, it's an art form. It's a form of things. All I wanted to do when I was younger is go run around in it though. I mean, it's, it's just like, whew, let me go play in it. Let me go like mess up the lines. Oh, it'd be so fun. I think that's like my obsession with playing with sand at the beach is like you can kind of just erases. It's like a natural graffiti. Just put it up. Last time I was at the beach with my niece, I uh, made a turtle. She just kicked up sand. So there's that. Okay, trampoline, Zen Garden, got it. Ice cream truck, what? Roller coaster, Moat. 
My Lumen, Jesse, Jellyfish. Okay, got the tornado. I need an acoustic guitar. We can make an acoustic guitar flying out of this window. That's easy. Big body guitar. It has like a hook shaped for where your hand. Nope, that's not it. It goes on the other side. It's where your hand rests, I believe. I don't know anything about guitars, though. Not something I got to learn. Life or learned, I guess. I was trying to learn all sorts of other things, like always. Just wasn't my thing. I don't think music's ever really been my thing. I don't know what my thing's been. Okay. Anyways, so drawing some lines, that flying out the window, great, glass breaking, yeah, fantastic, I can add that. Desert Oasis, oh no, I don't have a Desert Oasis. Um, how can we do this? This needs to be my, okay. How can we do this? I'm gonna start inking, I think, because I have enough stuff done. I need to put a roller coaster in, so let's just drop that in real quick. Because that shouldn't be super difficult. There's gonna be a point where the thing has to turn around and go the other way, though. Of course, we'll put in a loop to make it extra hard to draw. Yes, please. Please do that. Why did you do that? You just sabotaged yourself. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? You messed up, man. You messed up. Like, people are... Still drawing the tornado. So this would just have some cars on it. That'd be easy enough. Um, and this loop has got to look better if we're going to do a loop. This roller coaster looks like it's going to fall apart. It's not one that I would trust. Okay, so that's going to fill up a lot of the background, and we're going to end that roller coaster right here. So, whatever I need to do structure wise, which is going to add a lot of texture, maybe I shouldn't have that loop. It's taking up a lot of space. Where's my eraser? What time are we at? 9:08. We're not going to we're not going to finish this, but I will ink this before we're done out of here. So that's the plan. I'm going to get it to ink. No loop. No loop. Just another drop, but it's coming from this side, I would assume. Okay, good. No. We need another big drop on the outside right there. And then come up behind this guy and then we're gonna go out this side, so. None the wiser. Okay, good, perfect. Um, Desert Oasis, I don't, I don't know how to technically do that, so. We're gonna just where are we going to put it? There's no room. We're going to draw like a little. Oh. No. Yes. Desert. Desert? Desert. Okay, so I just. It's just so much stuff going on here. We're going to put a little. Tiny. cactus here and then, then we're going to put a little tiny 
pond and we're gonna put a little rock and then we're gonna draw a little lizard sitting here okay good perfect boom trampoline firefighter ice cream truck ice cream truck where are we gonna fit an ice cream truck in here back here I guess No, ice cream trucks look like they're just flat and boxy. And they come down in the front and then they're... I look like I buy ice cream from like serial killers. That just looks like a regular white van. And then there's usually a big mirror. And then there's like a window on this truck. The other side's got a door. We know it's an ice cream truck because he's got the big giant ice cream cone on top of his car. And it's the one that looks like it's dripping. Oops, sorry. Turned it. When I used to be able to do that, now that I draw live, I can't do that anymore. And then that thing's mounted by like a bracket here with like a bracket and then a bracket here on the back. It needs some wheels. Give it some wheels. Perfect. Okay. Desert Oasis Librarian Tornado Fire Tornado Bioluminescent Jellyfish. Perfect. I'll throw that in the background. That's going to be the ender. Okay. Let's go. How much time do I got? 17 minutes. We're going to knock this out. So first off, we're going to start with our firefighter. No, we're going to start with our librarian. She's wearing a sweater. But she's hunched over. It's a lot of neck. And she's inside the fireman's arm who has her over his shoulder and so his arm comes down like this he's got a big arm and he's got his hand coming around her right oh man I drew her too big it's okay face line somewhere here Hairline. She's looking down. Back of the head. Her hair is going to be in her face, unless she's a librarian. So she's got a. She's got a bun. She definitely got a bun. So let's draw. Just sketch in a rough. Librarian face. The thought I had earlier, I was thinking, what if I made her look really surprised like the firefighter had accidentally grabbed her butt? So, firefighter helmet. What does a firefighter helmet look like? <clears throat> you think you would know these things. You see them on movies every once in a while, but does it it has a shield that goes all the way back down the back. But I think the front is open. It's not like I can see it. It's not a whole lot of him, which I kinda did on purpose. Close. Firefighter, okay. Good. Yeah, I could do a palm tree instead of a cactus. I thought about doing that. Okay, so firefighter, big baggy jacket. His jacket goes much further, or her jacket. 
Oh, it's not even a jacket. It's like a jumpsuit. It's a one piece. And there's a helmet. There is a helmet. So. But what does that helmet look like? It's got like a little lip on it. And it's got kind of, it's just a big dome. It's a big helmet. It's got to keep you protected when you're fighting fires. This might not, this is probably going to look wrong. His body is probably not going to be well proportioned. And I apologize for that, but this is what I got. She's hanging. She's got one arm there. She's probably got the other arm over on the other side. And then there's like the little snake signature and then there is like some sort of like impact there we go and this goes into a huge boot the boots pretty big okay good I've got that kind of sorted out it's not great and she needs the other half of her body, really. Her legs might be dangling. They would be like just kind of. Maybe she has them up. There's not a whole lot of room for them. Okay, that's good enough. This is not a masterpiece, it's just a drawing practice. And we have 11 minutes to go. 11, 11, 11, 11 minutes to go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this big shoe here and then there's gonna be a big cuff here and we're gonna put another shoe here. Now, good thing I didn't draw too much of the side of this because that would make me have to put like actual rungs on it. And I didn't want to really do that because then that would make me have to figure out how the spacing worked. I will put a little bit of accent in just so we know it's a ladder and I guess I had to do it anyways it was just in a different form okay what's next there's our librarian and um, just probably wearing like a pencil skirt of some sort and covering her legs I don't know that's okay we need the burning fire Coming out of the window. Here's the window that he has just saved her from. Rescued from the third floor window. And I know some of these floors look like they're too small like why is that a basement floor have you ever been in some libraries they're kind of weird or kind of huge I've been in some big libraries I guess Seattle has a huge library 
And since I'm not the most avid reader, but I feel like that's the place to get real information these days. Everything on the internet is so like same source and just group thought information. So I don't know. I should probably read more. Be good for my brain. I read a lot though, but just not for pleasure, just for like information. I wish I enjoyed reading. I enjoyed having people read to me. Oh, that's backwards. Whoopsies. No one's ever going to know. Don't tell anyone. Shh. I think there's pickups on both sides of a guitar. I don't even know. Don't even know. I do like this little line on the inside of the window though. Gives me some some happy feelings. So I'm gonna add that in. Library. Okay, then we have these guys that are pulling. The trampoline. Oh, his head's too big. I made him have a big giant head. But I'm making him a clown, so that's okay. I can give him a big giant head. Already gotta give him dark hair because he's got some dark hair. Too bad, too sad. What's that line I just drew over nothing? Thought it was something important. Okay, there we go. We got a clown on one side. We got this guy. We got this guy. I'm gonna actually draw the clown makeup on this one. Give him some, some curls there. He is holding it up. This guy running. He is holding it up. His sleeves probably flying backwards a little bit. He's got a chest. He's also holding the other side. And that's going down this way. Are we uh we looking at our firefighter? We should jump back over into our word prompt so we know what we're doing. So this one is based based on the word trampoline because we need to use the trampoline in here. I'm gonna texture the trampoline.
just so we know we have it there. I'm gonna draw the round circle. I know the trampoline is not centered in between these guys. I was trying to put the circle off center, but I think it needed to go back instead of forward. But it's too late now. It's okay. There we go. We're going to draw a little zigzagging. Because they're running to the rescue. Because, of course, a bunch of clowns would have trampolines just in the back of their car, along with 11 other clowns. Okay, and then we're going to do the tube piping right here that's in front of them. This guy's actually running too, but he has the sidestep, so his front foot's here. And we're going to just draw his foot here. And this leg's coming, pushing like weirdly this way and it's like turned yeah okay great this guy he's gonna be smiles for days but then he's gonna he's gonna have like regular eyes in his makeup that's what makes him clown like is they got regular eyes in their makeup Eyes and ear, rest of the face, some curly hair, all over. Running pose, running pose. Need to learn how to draw how the pant leg comes up. Like, how, what, how does that fabric move? Ooh, one minute left. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. My punishment should be I have to erase everything that already has pencil lines. And then, um. I have to draw it from what I remember. But I think that would only be helping me at this point. Okay, quick draw. Just going to get it done quick. Just because there's so many words going on. Okay. Then we got the Zen Garden. These guys are running through it. Not even worried about it. Because there's a fire happening at the library. That's right next to the amusement park, I'm guessing. Everyone's okay with that. Let's put this desert oasis here. I'm going to draw a miniature palm tree. Like the chat suggested. I was thinking palm tree would have worked really good too. But... My problem is now, not only does it look miniature, it's it's like a little out of place. Sometimes you get a palm leaf that goes rogue, but usually they stay pretty fat, flat. We'll put some coconuts there. We'll put a rock here. We're going to put an oasis, a little, little blue pond, another rock like I said. And then the world's smallest lizard. 
sitting there on the rock. Watch out for the guitar playing out. And we're gonna just put sand in this area. So I'm gonna give it some dots to make it look sandy. More dots towards the horizon. Maybe like a little dune, a little dune. Okay, good, perfect. Got that in. Um, ice cream truck. Ice cream truck. Here we come. Are these, the tea stuff isn't even dry yet. So, like, good thing we didn't stick to waiting for that to dry. Otherwise, this would have been the episode that I would just cancel myself. I'm like, we just sat around and waited for nothing to dry. But that's a good test to know that, like, okay, if I do want to do something with watercolor and ink that it's probably not going to work out together. <clears throat> Just saying. And this should be ice cream because it's fine. We're not there yet. Roller coaster. The roller coaster ends like right behind them and comes up and turns. But we need to draw the roller coaster track. Right, and then it has a bunch of framework. But since we don't know what that framework is, we're just going to be quick with it and just draw it in simply. Right, and then since these are farther away, this this line is skinnier. And these lines should be closer together. And then as it comes this way, they need to start double lining. Okay, good. And then I'd like, what I would like to do is do Right, just so that it's like solid. But this is just going to take me more time, which is a problem. But maybe I can do it in a quick, quick mode if I can get more room because they're supposed to line up with each other. And then this goes this way, and this goes this way. This one goes this way, this one goes that way. Right, it's pretty easy. They like line up, and they go halfway. Not too difficult, fun. A little bit of texture. There should be a line here, right? There's that side. Looks good, real busy like always, like all my pieces. Maybe if I pick less words, it'd be a little bit easier on myself, but you know. 
So I think I can do more like uh, just a generalized shadow for the back where we're just crossing I think this will look okay. I'm not going to take too much time into doing this. I think the, probably the most important part would have been to getting it straight. That's okay. It's turns, it's warped. It'll look fine. All right. So Roller coaster probably looks good. Yeah. Um, okay, but we wanted to draw. We're almost done. We're almost done. Sand garden. Draw this little plant on a little box. It's like Zenish, and then there'll be like a rock or something you know here and then the lines like go you know through this and then around here and then back this way and then but they turn you know turn it's a very straight pattern you need to like here I'll just just draw it But if they're running through it, there's going to be rocks flying up. Well, this will be all distorted, so zigzags of then half lines and footprints. But behind it, it'll be straight. This is hard to do. Okay, Zen Garden, not complete, but we still got some other things to take care of, like the leg of this trampoline. Okay, we're shutting down in six minutes, and that's the final offer. There's the trampoline, here's the ice cream truck, there's the zen garden. This is also just now just a bunch of little rocks scattered with lines that used to be here. Half lines and footprints. But this should be still pretty good. There should be like spots of like disformity. Or maybe some spots of like where you can see where it used to be. I don't know. We're doing our best with this end garden thing. It's kind of convoluted. All right, let's just draw our roller coaster cars because that's what we really want to do. Two wheels per car. It's been a long time since I've been on a roller coaster. Right, and then there's people with their arms up, so arms, arms up, arms up, face, right, body, something like that. Hair. Going up in the air, face, hands on the front. Hands way back in the air, because he's 
going for it. Hands, arms, standing up there, and then this first one, she should be low, lots of hair, he, she, or he, whatever you want it to be, and going backwards like that. Perfect. This is a perfect drawing. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, almost done that. Okay. Cool, cool. So we got everything. Library. Did we get everything? I need the jellyfish. Zen Garden roller coaster ice cream truck. Um, firefighter trampoline desert oasis. Librarian acoustic guitar tornado. I need to put the tornado in the background and I need to finish these last few rungs. And I should be good to go, but let's not talk, let's work. Oh no, I wasn't, that was supposed to be skinnier because it's in the way back. Okay, that's okay, we're all right. And these ones, let's just go, go for it. Connect four, because it needs, we need some texture behind this. Um, Okay, I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, there's that drip. Which is like a lot of things overlapping each other. And this is what I find kind of difficult to do when you're live is like, you're really like flying by the seat of your pants. I'm very accustomed to that idea. maybe it's not like the best way to do things all the time but learn on the go there we go I think it just will make it pop a little bit more and I know that we don't have a whole lot of time and actually next week I may focus more on getting some other content out Maybe stream a little bit less, but we'll see. I just got this microphone working better and I've been struggling with that for a while. So I feel like I made it, I turned a corner, but then I like also like, is this really what you want to be doing with when Jesus comes? <laughs> no, just, I don't know if this is a good use of my time as much of time as it does take to set up streams and like write every day like the titles and it's not easy it's not automated so it's a lot of work uh oh it's time we're over it's over I didn't finish it it's not done but we're gonna quit anyways I think or I mean to be fair like you can give up. I'll just finish this up because I'm almost there. I'm so close. I'm just like not that far away to being finished. And I feel like if I put it down, I won't pick it back up. So I may as well just finish it while it's out. And it's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, almost done. So close. We're missing a tornado, though, and that's kind of a problem. We're also missing a bioluminescent jellyfish, but that's may not be as big of a problem, I don't think. I'm just going to sponge rob it and throw it in the background after I get this texture done I know there's and this needs to go a different way to make the crossbars I'm 
just going to throw it in there because I don't know exactly. That's the tip of the tree. I don't want to start drawing through the tree. I already did a little bit. That doesn't help separate the foreground from the background. Okay, good. Perfect. Done with that. Okay, tornado, tornado. Tornado, tornado, tornado. Right here. Okay, now we can get a little bit wider. The problem is, is I'm going to hit this. So I can't really get the full stroke, which is a little bit hard. So I kind of had to just guess. That's okay. As long as we get a tornado, right? This um this place is having just like a bunch of natural disasters. How do I have where do I need to put a bioluminescent jellyfish? Doesn't matter. Here we're throwing them in. I was going to throw them in the sky, but that's just a cop out for doing the real work. It's full. This, this thing is full to the rim. There you go. Now you have a bioluminescent jellyfish. All right. So just to recap, because we're all done, I'm out. I think that's it. I think we're good. I need to put a bunch of texture into the firefighter, probably, if I was going to finish that. This all could use some color. But the point is, oh, library. I forgot to put library in. How? I B It's R, right? Library. If it's not, that's okay. I'm not the smartest cookie in the cracker box. Yeah, I think that's it. And then we could use some like other other lines, but you know, using the micron wasn't probably the best for drawing some of this stuff. Would have been better to use some other things. But there's all ten of our words in one piece of artwork. That's I don't know mediocre at best, but it's fine. We did it in less than an hour. And I guess, I mean, those guys that draw comic books, they just, they got to smash those things out. And I wonder if they, like, go back and they're like, oh, this was missing. Like, I didn't put a, there's no lines in his suit. Like, he needs his, like, his emergency stripes and straps and his buckles and things like that. There should be some wrinklage, longer sleeve out here, you know. Could be cleaned up big shoulder even more over her should be right and then there's like a crease I mean there's just all sorts of things that are happening here that need to happen in order to make this look more realistic or even even fake you know 
pocket. There's probably a stripe around his leg there. And I don't know, I had the firefighter thing up. You put some bricks on the building, but that's besides the point because we are going to get out of here. Let me just show you what ended up happening. We'll zoom all the way in. And we're gonna jump to the studio so that you can see the whole thing all the way through. And then we're gonna go. So here we go. Our first word was tornado, number one. Ding. The next one was acoustic guitar, number two. Ding. Librarian, number three. There we got her, coming out of the library. Ding. Desert oasis. There we got our little palm tree, a little uh, pond and, and a lizard. Ding. Okay. Then trampoline, being carried in by the clowns, which was just an extra. Um, we got a firefighter up here. The Zen Garden that they're walking through, which now I probably should push put should have put the Zen Garden more here. Um, we got the ice cream truck in the back here, and then roller coaster, which is number nine, and then last but not least, we have the jellyfish. So that's it. That's all we got. It's all all she wrote for the day. Ten things in a tiny little piece of paper. Was it good? Meh busy real busy but I don't know what can you ask when you ask to draw 10 things in one little piece of paper and you do it quickly anyways that's gonna be it for this one um, the I can show you the tea paper it is still not dry it is starting to wrinkle but it's not dry whatsoever um, so I couldn't draw on this but maybe next time maybe on Monday I'll come back and we'll do something with these pieces of paper the um, the printer paper just is the worst though it's like so wrinkled it is dry though this one I could technically write on but we're out of time for tonight anyways as always thanks for watching it is Friday I hope everyone had a great week out there got a bunch of work done I know I got a ton of work done um, and then was still able to stream and fix the audio which was helpful I think um, I had some settings wrong I needed to fix a few things but it took me hours to figure out one little switch was not switched on anyways like I said that's gonna be it for this one as always thanks for watching and everyone out there have a good night and hopefully you have a great weekend. We are getting close to the holidays. So um, Thanksgiving is coming up in, what, eight days? So, yeah. Happy holidays, everyone out there. Anyways, I'm out for the night. Have a good evening, and we'll see you next time. Peace.